this is definitely the most difficult situation that I've ever seen. Um, in the time that I've been here, um, children have been shot and killed. Um, on the 30th of January, the Israeli military bulldozed the two largest water wells, um, destroying over over half of Rafa's water supply. Um, every few days, if not every day, houses are, are demolished here. Um, people are economically devastated because of the closure of the borders into Egypt and the extreme control of the Gazan economy by Israel. Um, I saw it. I came to um, to look at the aftermath of a place where 25 greenhouses had been demolished on the other side of Rafa, um, destroying the livelihoods of about 300 people. Uh, and that had taken place while they rounded up about 150 men. Uh, held them under a sniper tower and, and shot around them to contain the men, the farmers in the area. Um, so I feel like what I'm witnessing here is a very systematic um, destruction of people's ability to survive. Um, and that is incredibly horrifying. Incredibly horrifying. Sometimes... Um, It takes a while for it to set in what is happening here um, because I think many of the people here, they try to maintain what they can of their lives and I think, I don't know, maybe it has to do with protecting their children, that they try to be happy, um, joke with their children. So sometimes it takes, um, it takes time to, to, it's hard to hold in your mind, you know, the, the complete reality of what's happening here. Sometimes I'm sitting down to dinner with people and I just realize that, um, that there is a massive military machine surrounding them and trying to kill these people that I'm having dinner with, these families that I'm sitting down to, to eat with and who are being very generous and kind to me and their children here who are incredibly threatened, um, living lives that no child ever should have to live. Um, and, and so it, I feel a lot of horror, really I feel a lot of horror about the situation. The current Israeli government, I don't have a great deal of, of faith that, that they're going to listen to any message from me. Um, I think it has become clear that their, this government does not care about the safety of its own people and doesn't care at all about the lives of Palestinian people. Um, I think it's, a, it's ridiculous that my government supports this government and referred to Ariel Sharon as a man of peace. Um, it's clear to me being here that Ariel Sharon is invested in perpetuating a cycle, well, perpetuating violence. Um, I think calling it a, a cycle of violence disregards the imbalance of power in this situation, that people's lives here are almost completely controlled by the Israeli government. And it's amazing that people are able to hold on to their humanity as much as they can.